Yo guys, we're going to teach a one-handed convincing control. It's controlling a car, and it's an Ernest Eric move. It's by his book, By Forces Unseen. If you've never got the book, it's an excellent book. It's really great. But we all know all this stuff is extremely hard. But most likely, it's always worth the practice. A lot of people got famous off his work. Tony Chang, etc., you know. So let's go. Let's, let's get into it. So basically, the one-handed convincing control is anyone that says stop whenever they want. Ooh, stop. Okay? Acting like a spectator, too. So you say that's her card? Great. You just put it back, and just like that, it gets to the bottom of the deck. I mean, you can also just, you can also just say, like they just say, stop whenever. They see their card, you show it around, you show it around. Perfect. And just like that, I mean, it's really up to you how you want to do it. You can just say, oop, card is palm. I know it's a bad palm. I'm not trying to ruin these cards, though. Right now, I'm in a different country, so it's really hard to find bicycles. <laughs> but you get the point. And it's really awesome. You can even bring the card to the top of the deck, too. But we're getting into that during the tutorial. I want you guys to stay tuned in. I don't want to bore you, so let's get into it. Let's get into this tutorial right now. Basically what I'm doing is, you're going through the deck like this, right? Yeah, you say, for anyone to say stop whenever. So they say stop here. Basically what's going on is this middle finger is, is going inward, while the index finger kind of goes out like that. And basically, you're putting it already in the palm position, which is pretty cool. It looks like a palm, but it's really just slanted. So when you go down, it looks pretty normal. And it's really awesome because you can also palm the card one-handed as well if you wanted to. So it's a really great way to do a card to pocket, which is what, really what I like about this move. Also, you can also sneak this card under objects. Um, I can't really teach that though because it's not my thing, but in the Street Magic performance, after this video, I'll show you how I use it to do a card to box, so it's pretty powerful. I just can't teach it because it's not my trick. But if someone says stop right here, like let's say here, basically the the middle finger comes out. But when you do it, you want to keep it already like this so it looks normal. So you, right, the index finger comes and swivels it, swivels the card around the index, and your index finger could kind of jut out a little bit more too. So the card becomes like slanted. It's a good control, it really is. Like, you never know when it could come in handy. Also, sometimes it's better not to use the classic force in the first trick because everyone's really trying to catch you. It's really good to use like a convincing control or like a side steal just because you have more control of the deck. You don't really want to hand out the deck or you miss the classic, you know, the classic force. You know, it's like, wow, it's like, it's basically feel, you feel like it's game over. It's a lot, it's pretty stressful. So it's pretty great to do a lot of these tricks when you have basic, basically control of that. So I mean with this move, also if you hit like kind of like the cortex of the eye when you do it, basically I mean the move becomes like really invisible. This will take a lot of practice though, but again the move's pretty invisible. You can just kind of swirl it back just like that. And if you really want to side steal it, I just go like that and put it under. And then while I'm squaring the deck, which what I like about is since the card's out, it's a really normal gesture to square the deck now. <coughs> so basically when you really do this move, it really does catch people off guard. Because they don't really know you're controlling it to the top. Because you're just doing a normal action of just squaring the deck. So it means a really powerful move. It could be a little bit difficult. Like as you can see, I sometimes probably even mess it up a little. But... Is it worth the practice? Like hundred percent. I probably messed that up. I'm not even sure. I probably wasn't fast enough. But you can play with the move, um, and it's always good to keep this hand down. So it gives you like a reason to you know to go back and fix it. It looked kind of you know what I mean. It looked kind of weird, if you honestly. When I was experimenting, it looked pretty weird to go like this and. I mean, if this hand was close up, I always put this down, so when I show it, there's like a reason to go down and do that. 
you just want to have a justification for everything so everything seems normal. So again, this move is great. You can make it a size to control to the top, you can keep it in the bottom. Like if you know how to do a bottom deal, it's pretty awesome, you know? Because like everyone already knows the cards in the top. You say I messed up there. <laughs> Let's start over. Everyone already knows like the card and magician always controls the card to the top. So basically, you can control it to the bottom, you know, and just bottom deal it out. It's pretty awesome. You can get a lot of people off guard with this. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Maybe I'll just teach it one more time. So again, you say stop whenever. You say stop right here. Middle finger comes in, swirls it. Well, like the index finger shots out a little. something 
now. Here, you can take any card and be face up or face down. It doesn't matter. Any card you want. You got it? Yeah. You can show it to the camera. I won't look at it. Okay, cool. Right. Now we can take what's in that. Yeah, we'll just leave it just sticking. And you know what, actually? You can take one too. You can face up or face down. Actually, they're all kind of face up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, good. So this is what we do, okay? And we'll just bury it. Um, you want to put a face? Yeah, we can put a face up. It doesn't matter. We'll take it. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take it. Like, just bury these parts alive, whatever. So we have this... So we have this huge mess. We have a bunch of face up, a bunch of face up and face down cards. Now, I want you to put it in your hand like this for me. Okay, good. Did you feel that? Did you just feel that? Oh, really? Oh, did you feel anything after that? Okay, fine, fine. Let's imagine, right, all the cards are fixing themselves, like you shuffle. All the cards are fixing themselves. They're, fixed, they're all reversed, and they all go back to the same order, but you're two cards. Now it just happened, right? Now I want you to go through the deck. Any way you want. And you can see all the cards are actually face. But you're two cards right there. How? What do you mean, how? Magic? Yeah. <laughs> like, 